Today I am going to talk about a subject which I don't know. No, really. This one subject, I have no experience. Pain. No, really I am telling you. See, when I say God, you only have to imagine based on whatever you heard from others. Am I right? Same way when you say pain, I only have to imagine whatever I heard from all of you. Today we are going to work on your pain patterns. Pain is such a sensitive subject. You cannot be given the ultimate truth straight away. But you should not be stuck with the sympathy. See, pain is such a sensitive subject, I have to show sympathy. But to tell you honestly, that is not the solution. You give the instruction for pain body, ma. Hmm? I'll interfere only when I require. A life without pain. <laughs> it's a world of difference in the way we've lived our life to what he has experienced. First one is that the physical fear and the death experience, the fear, various other fears that hold the body at the physical level is what we did yesterday. Today we are going to a more subtler realm which is no, also known as the pain body or the etheric layer inside us. The etheric layer is also the layer where your seven chakras are located. The first two days what we did, right? So all your energy points are located in this particular layer and all the pains that we have, you know, are stored in this layer. All the pains that we've had in life in many forms. Is there anyone in this room who doesn't experience pain? Raise your hand. And I say pain, you know, in any form. It could be physical pain because of illness or a body condition. It could be mental pain. It could be psychological pain, uh, social pain. Uh, you know, all uh, what society gives, what others say, what I feel, what I visualize and imagine. Pain due to the guilt or pain due to life being the way it is and I don't like it in various forms. Correct? And this has been for us ever since probably we remember where we are, like we remember us. Now if we look at, otherwise usually what when we look at life, the moment I look at life, if I ask each one of you to give me a definition, what is life, what would you say? What is life? <laughs> You're saying suffering, okay. What is life? What happens to us? Is a part of it, you, a part of the answer you said, okay. Uh, sorry? Somebody should uh, transmit that answer to me. Opportunity? Okay. Opportunity? Okay. Then? Hmm? Transformation? What did she say? Birth and death. Okay. So, if I can actually bring all the words in the dictionary, isn't it? Life is a game, life is an opportunity, life is a fun, life is exciting, uh, life is learning, life is adventure, like this, all words in the dictionary you can say, and say life is that. This is what usually we think of. But life as an as-lived experience is completely different. As human beings, most often we lose, in, lose touch with the ground reality of our life. As an as-lived experience, life is totally something else. What is that? And it's not something which I or you found like last night. What we experienced life as goes back to a very, very early space of our life. When was that? Long, long ago. Quite a while ago. There was this time when you and me were in a very beautiful space. A beautiful water bed. Cozy, warm. Nice, like a swing. La la la, you're like just floating in the water. The right temperature. So amazing. Why? No need to have a headache of where will I get the food, where will I go there, what will I do? Nothing to bother. Automatic food supply, everything room service in the water bed. Yes or no? Automatic food supply? Yes. 
every few hours the food is there in my mouth directly into me whether i want it or not it's there automatic drink supply then beautiful nice cozy warm space no harsh lights there were no electric companies no lights no nothing very harsh on me and continuously constant fm a beautiful nice beat what's that yeah heartbeat of whom mothers heartbeat is there continuously you have food supply you have bed service you have room service even for your 1 2 3 you need to move all of it happens automatically input automatic output automatic don't need to worry about anything and you are nicely floating around happily moving and enjoying and just being in that space of nowhere nobody to disturb you nothing to worry about and life was all well for many 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 days suddenly one day what happened boom Push! my god tsunami no intimation no alarm no nothing it's just there and it's i'm being pushed and pulled and gosh there's a sound and it's breaking and it's all gone and and i'm just moving without knowing which direction to move and i'm being squeezed and just pushed into some horrible narrow thing and i'm clear the person who made it never went through it or this why would they make it so narrow and so horrible and i am squeezed and sucked into that and i with pull and push and pull and push and finally i'm somehow i'm expelled out of my cozy warm space and what's happening as soon as i'm out even before i know where i am what's happening some two pair of very cold hands are holding me upside down and pack where right on my bum one whack i'm getting and that's how life is saying welcome to life now do you think life is cozy what somebody said adventure romantic many people say life is romantic where is life romantic it is not we would kind of want to imagine it is but as an as lived experience life is really so much of pain for almost all of us because that's the first moment at birth the first thing that got recorded in my nervous system is pain pain just not about what happened after i came out but right from the process of coming out to the process when i have jumped into somebody's hands to my so called welcome to life which is so unwelcome where the umbilical cord is just cut and i am turned upside down and i am now forced to take that first breath <gasps> when i have to take that it is anything but pleasant isn't it and that's when i get that life is really dangerous and the recording that happens as the first impression from life or most often for almost all of us is that of pain what's the first thing they'll give you as soon as you come out what's the first thing they'll give your mother pain killers isn't it even in the hospitals that's what they do everything around you is equipped to deal with pain because that is what they are giving you pain is being given so pain has to be taken away artificially and you are coming into life experiencing the first ray of life as what pain so pain is as old as you are so if i say what is one pain you have in your life you cannot tell me last night a group of mosquitoes bite me and yesterday only i learned i can't even kill a mosquito i'm such a helpless fellow in life now and i am painful about that no it's not last night the pain didn't begin definitely last night or this morning it's as old as me began the time i came out right from the mother's womb and maybe even before that so my relationship with pain therefore is a very deep one one of the most subtle things that exists in us very very difficult to break is pain try as you might there will be the so called high moments of life when you will know i'm going to be just happy i'll never again you know get into suffering or pain and you know how long that resolution exists it just goes off isn't it how many of us experience that you really want to be without pain you're committed to that but somehow you get back to pain because there is no space inside you which in which pain is not stored almost every cell in our body has recorded some form of pain somewhere in life 
So what we'll do through today's process, it's a very, very powerful process, where we'll go through the whole journey for the making, the making of the pain, and we'll go through the journey of breaking of the pain, both. We'll first look at how the pain got made up before we break it up. We'll see both today. Is that clear? Any questions for me? Any questions? Ready? Ready? So today, especially the process is very intense. It needs intense work. And I'm glad we make the, de the declaration of integrity and authenticity to happen. So let's live by that. Let's not waste time. Let's bring integrity. Let's bring intensity to this process. Do it with complete intensity, with total authenticity. Okay? Don't resist anything. Just do it completely and you will see huge liberation. So much of your pain will just vanish by the end of the day. You will see. It's, very, it's a magical process. So what will we do first? First part, there are two parts in today's process. Right now we are in part one. The first part is where you will actually enter into a very unique process. What is that? For the first time maybe in your life, you'll write the story of yourself. As Swamiji was sharing the other day, yesterday or day before, we give appointment to everybody else in the world except to ourselves. You don't have time for yourself, you have time for the rest of the world. So now is the time for you to really sit with yourself again and again and again to see what is it that stops you from getting what you want in your life. And pain is one of the biggest things that stops us from living life. So what we'll do is we'll go and look at the story of our life, go back to the earliest memories of your life and you'll start writing down the unpleasant, unwanted incidents of your life as if you were writing a story. Now, the most important thing is as you record, as you write down the various situations of your life, you will relive those situations and you will write them down. You can write it in your mother tongue, in whichever language you think. We think in language. Do we know that? Our thinking is because of the language we have. No language, there cannot be thinking. So our way of thinking, I mean, each one of us thinks in a certain language. So that, by the way, need not be your mother tongue. Do we get this? Most often you will think in language which you use the most. So write down in the language that you think. So it could be your mother tongue, it could be English, whichever is comfortable for you. Relive the situations and write them down. So obviously again it doesn't begin yesterday afternoon when I was doing this, somebody said this and I felt pain. No. It will start very early in life, maybe at the age 3, 4, 5, whichever you remember for, you know, earliest. The sequence of events is not so important. So if you remembered at the age of four, my mother beat me. And the age of three, afterwards you remembered. At the age of two also, my mother beat me. Then no, it, you can just continue writing. As you remember, just continue penning down, writing down the situations and incidents that happened. Relive as if it's happening now, and then write down according to you what happened. You can make it very brief description. You obviously need not have pages and pages to write down. It's important you relive it before writing. Clear? Ma, you had a question? Yes, right from the earliest memory. If you go back, you can even recollect what happened when you were months baby. What happened at birth. That also may some people recollect. Whatever you remember, it could be 3, 4, 2, 1, 5, whichever age. Start from there and end with what you are now. Yes. Absolutely. Highly possible inside the womb, even before. Possible. Other questions? Any other questions? Okay, so right now the time is what? Mm, it's going to be 12.50 right now. So how much time we'll need for writing? Two hours is good? Two hours? Shall we see if we can finish it by 3 o'clock? Hmm? By three, let's, let's take two hours to finish it because then there's part two, which is again a very deep and intense process. So my request is you bring intensity. Don't chit-chat. Don't wander. Drift from what you are supposed to do. Definitely don't copy from your neighbor's book. You have to write about your life. Your life only you will know. Nobody can supply the information to you. Hmm? It's not an exam, correct? So look into your book, look into your life, both, and write it down and please write everything most important don't edit anything 
don't say no 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 this was such a nasty thing i did i can't write this so don't do that put out everything as you remember it relive and write it down okay thank you